Welcome to Survey for Accounting. Um, I, this class is going to cover some basics of accounting for those of you who are non-accounting majors. Um, I think what I like the most about this class is that even if you're not an accounting major, I think you're going to find things in here that you can use um, in your own business that you might own someday or just in your own life. Like there are some skills in here that I think are going to come in handy. I wanted to take a quick walk through the Canvas classroom. Many of you have already used Canvas here at Lackawanna College, but I also wanted to touch on some things about this class specifically because this is set up a little bit differently. We don't run on essays. It's more problem-based. So this is your home screen. You're going to see um, I'm currently in the teacher view. If I switch to student view, it doesn't let me show you everything I want to show you. Um, so yours is going to look similar but not identical to this one. When you log in at the very top, you're going to see some announcements will be listed at the top. Please pay attention to those. That's where I put some reminders and important information throughout the class. And then underneath that, you're going to see all of your modules. So the first one's called Getting Started, and then Module 1, and then they're all listed. I have mine collapsed at the current moment. <clears throat> Excuse me. If you are using a uh, mobile device, your cell phone or a tablet or anything like that, you're going to want to come over here on the left hand side and make sure that you've clicked on the word modules. Okay, because that's super important to look at this in module format and not just in like assignment or discussion format because you're going to miss something if you look at it that way. So this first week is a little bit different um, than all of the other weeks. This get it's getting started week. First, you're going to have this list of things um, for you to look through that are specific to Lackawanna College and Canvas in general. Okay. If you're watching this video, you probably clicked on this introduction to class video link that is sitting right there. Underneath that, you have some e-learning tasks, and these e-learning tasks are due August 31st, um, which is Wednesday of this week. Some class introductions, a getting to know you quiz. Please make sure you do that. That's going to tell me some things about you that you may not want to, you know, say in the class introduction section. Um, your online course agreement. You have two discussions, and you're going to have two discussions in each uh, module. The first discussion is drawing connections, and the second one talks about accurate records. And then you have two assessments. You have a 10-point quiz and a 20-point warm-up assignment. Okay, So I'm going to let you travel through those yourself on the first week. This module, the module one, chapter one, I'm going to go through this with you step-by-step um, -step, because I want to show you how this is set up. Every one of the modules is set up identical to this one, okay? So you'll notice we have an introduction section. So I'm going to click on this introduction, and it's going to take me to a page that looks like this, and it gives you a short summary of the chapter, a step-by-step to-do list, some videos to watch, websites to read through, and some further reading. Now these videos and websites, some of these are what you're going to use to answer your discussion questions. So, um, for example, this one and this one. Okay. Um, some of these are here to help you look at different careers and things like that related to accounting. Even though you're not um, an accounting major, that still might be something that interests you. Once you've read through all of these items and you've looked at that to-do list and you've started it, you can go ahead and click on Next, and it's going to take you to your lesson area. Okay. So your lesson area is going to list, first of all, the, the Lackawanna College objectives for this course that this lesson covers. It's going to give you a short little summary at the top. And then there'll be a section that sits here from your instructor. Most of them are going to say, please see below in the lesson notes for the video explanation. Um, I have everything down under the lesson notes kind of in a specific order. Okay. So your instructions, please read through the PowerPoint and complete the vocab worksheet. You do not need to turn the vocab sheet in, but there will be a quiz at the end of the module with the vocabulary on it. Accounting has its own vocabulary. It has a language all of its own. So please make sure you're fo focusing on those vocab words and you're learning those. And you'll see the PowerPoints here. You can read through that on your own. And then the vocab, excuse me, the vocab worksheet is there as well. And again, you don't have to turn it in, but I would like you to complete it because you're going to need it for your quiz at the end. The second step under your instructions, complete the step-by-step -step problems along with the explanations. Again, no need to turn them in, but you will be completing a weekly assignment which will be similar and graded. The PowerPoint, vocab, and problems are all the equivalent of being in the classroom. 
So if we were doing this in a classroom setting, the PowerPoint and the problems are what I would be discussing with you as a group, okay? And the vocab would be for homework. Since we're in an online setting, this is the equivalent to being in your classroom. So each chapter other than chapter two is going to have these step-by-step -step problems. So it lists the problem. It lists a written out explanation. So this is in PDF format and it's written out in, in words and visuals because that's how some people learn. And then the third link here is a video explanation. So this video explanation is of me physically doing the problem and talking you through it as we do it, okay? So again, these are the equivalent to being in the classroom. <coughs> Excuse me. These working papers down here at the bottom are what we're gonna use to complete the problems. Now you'll notice that the first one, if you look at the file extension, says .xls. That's an Excel spreadsheet that you can type right on. <coughs> Sorry, excuse me. And then the second one says .pdf. That one is one that you can print out, okay? You could print the Excel spreadsheet as well, but the PDF I thought might be a little bit easier. So again, lesson area, specifically, what we would do in class and how you learn to do the assignment that you're actually being graded on, okay? So if we click next, it's gonna take us to our first discussion question. In this case, it's GAP versus IFRS. So it gives you kind of a little information in the box and then it asks you four questions that you're going to answer. Please note the guidelines. Your initial response is due by Wednesday. Your initial post must be two to three paragraphs with an outside source to back up your opinion. Please note the word outside. Outside does not mean the textbook, okay? That's not an outside source, okay? It does not mean the PowerPoint. That's not an outside source. We want something outside of the material that, we, that you use on a normal basis to back up that opinion or back up your thoughts and, and support your facts, okay? You must have three replies to classmates and they are due Sunday by 11.55 and they should be one to two paragraphs long. Ask questions, clarify what your classmates are saying, agree or disagree respectfully, find new research, etc. Okay, they again, one to two paragraphs. It should not be, hey, that was a great post. Keep up the good work. That's not a reply. You will not get credit for that, okay? It should be something that contributes to the conversation. Once you click next, you're going to get to your second discussion question. In this case, it talks about the three different types of businesses. Again, guidelines are identical, okay? And then when you click next, you're gonna to get to your assignment. So here we see your, your problem that's listed for your assignment. This is the one that's graded. And your two sets of working papers, again, just look at the extension at the end. You'll be able to see which one you can type on, which one you can print out. Please complete the assignment above and submit it by the due date. And then there's a rubric at the bottom that tells you how you're going to be graded on your assignment. Okay. Now, again, this is the one that's going to be graded. If you struggle with this problem and you did not do the step-by-step -step problem in the lesson activity along with the video, you need to go back and do that. If you ask me to help you with this problem, my first question is going to be, did you do the step-by-step -step video, step-by-step -step problem with the video? If the answer is no, I'm sending you back to do that. If the answer is yes, I did it, I'm going to ask to see it, okay? So please note that if you ask me for help with this problem and you have not done the step-by-step -step problem, I'm sending you back to do it because that's the reason it's there. If you show me that you've done the step-by-step -step problem and you're just struggling and just don't understand, then I will be more than happy to help you. But you have to try the step-by-step -step problem first, okay? If you have any questions on that, let me know. So once you complete your assignment, you're going to click next and it takes you to your vocab quiz. Your vocab quiz is fill in the blank, okay? Fill in the blank with a term that matches the definition. Once you're done with that, it's going to take you to a wrap up and look ahead page, which kind of just summarizes what you just learned and looks ahead to what you're going to learn next. Okay. Again, each module is set up exactly the same. On the left hand side, if we go down here, you're going to see um, a tab that says syllabus, a button that says syllabus, and there's two syllabi. Click 
I'll try it again. There are two syllabi listed here. One is specific to this course, and one has all of the Lackawanna College policies and procedures. So I'm going to click to the one that's specific to this course and just look through this really quick. This syllabus does list, I apologize for taking a little bit to load. This syllabus does list your textbook and the objectives to this course. <clears throat> There we go. So it lists your textbook, the description, the objectives, okay? Requirements each week, you have two discussion questions with an initial post and three replies. Required readings and videos, vocab, step-by-step -step problems, quizzes, chapter assignments. Um, you're gonna get evaluated on each of those things that are listed above. Here are my policies. All of your emails will be answered within one day, 24 hours. Please do not email me a question and then if I don't answer you within the next 20 minutes email me again okay please give me some time also note I check everything first thing in the morning so I'm talking like everything should be checked and looked over by 9 a.m. okay um, every now and then I have an issue that I can't get there by 9 but by 9 a.m. If you have something, I know that everybody is very busy. If you have something that you're working on and you have a question that needs to be answered right away, email me at mchenryk at lackawanna.edu or text me at my cell phone number found at the top of the syllabus, okay? The inbox that's in the Canvas classroom, I only check that in the mornings, okay? But if you're working on something and you need help right away, please either email me at the Outlook email or text me on my cell phone. Underneath the instructor policies are the rubrics for how things are graded, and then um, your course schedule of what we're completing when. Okay. Back up out of this, back to our main. Um, again, if you have any questions, please drop me an email. Uh, this inbox on the left, again, I check every morning. So if it's, if it's something non-urgent, you can in inbox me there. If it's something that you need an answer a little quicker, um, you know, Outlook email or texting would be better. I hope you guys have a great semester and I'm looking forward to working with you.